So over the last couple of days, there have been lots of news stories about Powerball and what people would do with their money and all sorts of wonderful things like that and just how much it's grown over the years. And there are lots of people. Some of the interviews are highly inappropriate. Some of them are highly entertaining. But there are other people who have really, really earnest things that they would do with the money. Everyone would tithe, I'm sure. And then uh, they would do all sorts of other good things like, oh, I would go back to my university and they're building this new thing and I would I'd pay that project off or I would go and make sure that this children's hospital had everything that they needed. And today, none of us are $800 million richer because next week I will be a billionaire. <laughs> and there's this wonderful quote from a book that I read when I took a children's literature course um, that's about uh, kind of a home for orphans. And this girl says, I dreamed every night for years and years of escaping my ordinary life. But the reality was my life wasn't ordinary at all. I just failed to recognize how extraordinary it truly was. This morning, our lives are truly extraordinary. No matter how little you think you have, no matter how little you think you are, our lives are truly extraordinary because Christ, the one and only true Son of God, died for you. For you. Not for us, but each of us individually. You're pretty extraordinary. You're valued. You're important. You matter to God, and God ought to matter to you just as much. This morning, we get to return a portion of what he's given us in our praise and in our worship and in our giving. We get to give back just a little bit. We get to tell him, thank you, God, for being extraordinary. Thank you for making every moment of our lives that much richer. Will you stand up as we